an off-the-face hairstyle? Who should really be wearing this type of look? So, not necessarily uh, the hair texture is of importance, but if you don't have the right hair texture and the right density of your hair, then you're not gonna be able to confidently wear your hair back. And why would you wanna wear your hair back? Well, simply because you've got a handsome face. So you've got, you know, you, uh, you've got great hair and you feel confidence licking it back. Remember, you're, you're exposing everything on your face like when you're wearing your hair off your face. So a few things also is your face shape. If you've got an oval face shape, uh, you know, a rounded face shape, you know, any face shape this can work with as long as you are comfortable with having the hair off your face. It's really the hairline and the forehead size that really is of importance. If you've got a forehead, like this mannequin in through here has, I'd say your pretty standard forehead, but maybe a little bit higher. But if your forehead's way back here and you're just pushing everything back, chances are your forehead's gonna probably look like a runway, okay? But that's totally cool. You know, I mean, I'm, I shave my head and I'm, I'm bald for God's sake, so I'm all head. But being able to wear your hair back off your face really depends really on you. You can have it really, really short in through here. Now, where it does start to really play into the face shapes is when you start creating unbalanced shapes. For example, if you have a really, really like round face and you take this down and through here really, really, really short, well, you're narrowing down the roundness, right? You're making it very, very tight. If you've got a very square type of head shape, you don't wanna make this even shorter because it's gonna square it off even more, right? If you have a very long face, for example, the more you bring your hair up and away, you're just gonna elongate the head and the face even more. So you really wanna really be careful of the types of hairstyles you are wearing when you're exposing your face and your forehead and through here. So having some length throughout the sides like this definitely helps with counterbalancing some of your face shapes. And also keep in mind, you know, when it comes to getting the hairstyle like this, if it's too long, if the haircut itself is way too long on top, the hair is just gonna flop down, right? So you need to have a good hair length where I'd say it's probably about, you know, four to five inches long. It's not, the hair's not long enough where it's gonna just completely collapse on you, but it's still not too short where the hair is just gonna stick straight up off your head. So you need to have that kind of happy medium to where the hair length is just the right amount where it'll stay back, but it'll also go back, all right? Next is the products you're using. So I suggest for something like this using Tidal Wave as a pre-styler because Tidal Wave is gonna give you incredible volume and it's gonna give you just the right amount of that texture that you're looking for. The, the sea salt really does an amazing job in Tidal Wave of giving you that volume, that lift, and that texture that's gonna support that hairstyle that is gonna go back and away from your face. Then the blow drying technique. So a vent brush comes in very, very handy because when you're blow drying, you can actually get the lift like this by creating that arch and that angle right throughout the front here. So a lot of it has to do with the product. It has to do with how you are blow drying the hair. You know, a lot of times people are like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to brush my hair back with a product and it's not helping. Well, believe it or not, it's more of the styling, right? How are you styling this to go back? And then how are you supporting a style by the hairspray? You know, are you using a pre-styler? Are you using the right brush? Are you using the right blow dry techniques? All these things come into, you know, into consideration, but these hairstyling tips are really, really important for any hairstyle, but specifically if you're looking for volume, if you wanna wear your hair off your face, I would say, you know, keep it somewhat simple, but you do have to put a lot of work into it because with anything, if you wanna look good, you know, you gotta put some effort. So if you are interested in using any of my products or purchasing them, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20. And if you order something that has a value over $50, then you get free shipping in the United States. So let me know if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.